Hey guys, this is Scott with Heritage Farms Texas. Hey, I want to tell you a little story that happened to us about a week ago. It's unfortunate, kind of tragic, extremely sad, but uh, it looks like it's going to have a happy ending. So just wanted to kind of pass it along and maybe you can get some advice out of this uh, to prevent it from happening to you or your dog. And uh, just wanted to share. So uh, about a week and a half ago, my wife and I were going to start out on vacation. Uh, it's been a while since we've had a vacation. We were going to take a week off, just really uh, kind of go to a multi couple of different cities, uh, spend a couple of days here, a couple of days there, and have some fun and just rest and relax. It's been a very stressful, busy year. And we started on our vacation. Well, uh, before we left, uh, we took our German short-haired pointer and left it with the in-laws uh, for dog sitting. Uh, we've done this several times. Uh, they have a great fenced-in, wide open yard, the perfect place for a German short-haired pointer to run around and have some fun. So, uh, and they are great at taking care of it and spoiling that dog rotten. Well, anyway, we've done this so many times without issues. Well, two days into our vacation, we get a phone call from them that unfortunately Coco, our German short-haired pointer, had in essence found a timber rattlesnake and got into a fight. Uh, Oh man, it was just devastating. Uh, first off, this is in North Texas in an area where nobody sees timber rattlesnakes. It's just not common. Uh, we have copperheads, water muskins, all kinds of grass snakes, but we just don't see rattlesnakes in this part of Texas. And uh, for us to hear about it as something else and for our dog to find one, wow. Uh, just the odds are not there that that happens on a regular basis. We're just shocked and floored. Uh, so they immediately rushed Coco over to uh, Dallas. Uh, they had to call around and see if there was different vets that had the anti-venom. Not everybody carries the anti-venom, but the dog was in a world of hurt. It got bit basically right under its eye, right on the snout, and it was a big rattlesnake. Going into this, uh, let's see, she got the anti-venom, she got uh, two plasma treatments several thousand dollars later. She was on IV for uh, basically uh, four days uh, before she really started showing any life at all. Uh, the first couple of days, she was like in a trance uh, and all she would do would be wag her tail if we actually uh, spoke to her. Uh, just totally out of it. Uh, there was points in times so we didn't think the dog was going to recover, but uh, kudos to those guys. They uh, really gave her the treatment she needed and got her back on her feet. Uh, so here we are. Uh, yesterday was a week. She's now moving and walking and eating and drinking on her own, uh, but she still kind of looks like a drunk sailor. You know, she uh, struggles when she first stands up. She wobbles weaves a little and it's probably going to take a month or two for her to get her uh, self fully recovered but uh, just what a blessing this was the family dog my girls grew up with her uh, just uh, this dog is part of the family and we would have been devastated to lose her that being said a couple of things about active sporting dogs bird dogs in general whether you're a hunter or uh, just a weekend rancher or full-time farmer, cattleman, whatever. If you have a dog that's in an outside environment that's prone to snakes, a couple of things. Uh, various dog clubs have snake avoidance training. Uh, I know the German Short-Haired Pointer Club of Texas has rattlesnake training a couple of times throughout the year. And what they do is they uh, have a small fenced-in area. They'll take some uh, rattlesnakes that have been defanged where they uh, cannot bite and they'll put them out in this little area. They'll release the dog in there with a shock collar on it. And when the dog gets hot on the scent of the snake and goes over to actually investigate the snake, they will shock the dog before it even gets close to the snake. And what they're trying to do is instill in the dog that when they smell this smell, that's very uh, distinctive, that they will avoid the snake altogether. And uh, it's kind of like, ooh, stove hot, don't touch. Uh, kind of same concept so we even talked about doing that with our dog when it was a puppy and shame on me I never followed up uh, I thought nah we just don't have that many rattlesnakes well here we are it happened to me and just when you think something can't happen to you that's when it will so um, I really suggest that you guys look into getting snake avoidance training uh, that's the best way to avoid having your dog bit at all uh, if your dog is uh, 
bit, definitely you know get it to a vet that has the anti-venom. You may even want to do a little checking around in advance just so that if an emergency happens you know where to go as opposed to looking for phone numbers and trying to reach people after 5 p.m. Uh, on a weeknight. Uh, let's see the other thing that's out there is an actual uh, rattlesnake vaccine. Uh, mixed opinions on how effective it is. I didn't even know it existed. Uh, but after talking to a couple of vets, they tell me that it's not a cure-all, you know, but if your dog does get bit, he'll probably still need the anti-venom, but you may have more time to get the treatment, and it may reduce the effects of the snake bite to begin with, and it may ultimately speed recovery. So uh, strongly recommend that you look into that or ask your vet about that as well. And of course, other common practices uh, in this case was they kept the grass mowed around the house. The grass was incredibly short. Uh, in this situation, uh, this was really out in the open. That, that snake had no purpose being where it was, but unfortunately it was there and my dog Coco found it. And uh, just really a tragedy, but it looks like it is gonna have a happy ending. I'm gonna tie in a couple of videos of her walking around, and when you see it, you'll see she's still wobbly. Uh, she's still struggling to kind of get up and down on her own, but she's slowly coming back to normal, and I'm hopeful that within a month, she'll be fighting again. Uh, so anyway, uh, hope you guys are doing well. If you like what you see down here, uh, please subscribe. You can also check us out on uh, Facebook at Heritage Farms Texas. And also we have a website out there for heritagefarmstexas.com as well. So, uh, hey, thanks for watching and uh, check us out uh, for additional videos.